Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Kafadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out from amp.cen.com, um, published by Crystal Holt and Nicole Gook. Um, from CNN.com, updated 4:44 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. <clears throat> and it reads: The Dow Jones sink more than 400 points as spike yields weights on stocks. It says uh, stocks fell sharply tuesday afternoon as the u.s treasury surged to the highest level in over a decade worry investors that higher borrowing rates could further stall the housing market it says the dow jones fell 430 points or 1.3 percent notching its lowest close since june and turning lower for the year the benchmark S&P 500 declined 1.4% for its lowest close since May. The Nasdaq Composite lost 1.9%, extending the late summer sell-off. The Fed signaled last month that it could introduce more hype this year. And keeping rates elevated through next year, investors are starting to worry that the housing market could be the next domino to fall and a potential triggering a recession and this is the book of revelations chapter 18 and verse 2 And this is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 2, and it reads, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the greatest fallen, is fallen, and has become a habitation of deceivers, and a hole of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean, and H A T E F U L burden. Of this uh, modern <coughs> of this uh, modern day modern day Babylonian economical season, as we see in signs of its uh, on decline, even though it shows signs of its uh, trying to bounce back but we're seeing signs of it's on the climb as we've been seeing the markets up and down as we've been seeing the value of the american dollar up and down as we've been seeing uh, other statistics of that sort up and down as well too so we're going to continue to see signs of that you know and this is the book of jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 7 it says uh Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Right through their uh, philosophies and uh, economics and many diff different sorts of that. Just like in ancient times, now we see this in modern day times. As we continue to see the uh, declining of this modern day Babylonian system. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8. Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed, so it's being destroyed spiritually, economic wise, and many other sorts of uh, categories as well, too. But definitely from an economical standpoint, because everything has been a seesaw up and down, bound to scale, you know. You know, they have to deal with uh, inflation, you know, the cost of living, gas prices, interest rates, Federal Reserve or interest rates, because the market's been. Our, you know the bar market's been up up and down at the stocks exchange so those are signs of a uh, modern day babylon it's a up and down balance scale you know jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8 babylon is suddenly falling at the score how for her take bond for her pain and so she may be healed and jeremiah 51 and verse 9 we would have healed babylon but she is not healed forsaken her and let us everyone go to his own country for her judgments reach up into heavens and let's lift it up even to the sky so with that hopefully this uh sit down lesson was edifying of this recent news article from uh amp.cnn.com as of uh updated uh 4:44 p.m eastern time as of tuesday october the third published by Kristen hall and nicole goodman for cnn 
As it says again, the Dow Jones seeks more than 400 points. Mm -hmm. Okay. saying was uh, you know this was a uh, sit down lesson once again I hopefully this lesson was edifying from the amp.cnn.com and as of uh, October the 3rd 2023 and last updated at 4.44 p.m. Eastern Time by Kristen Poole and Nicole Goodman from CNN as it reads again the Dow Jones sink by more than 400 points as spiking yields weights on the stock so with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Akar Kadash, Shalom to the uh, elders <coughs> for preaching the word truthfully and sincerity, and Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerity as well too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.